Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on comparing two Excel sheets from the same workbook side by side. This tip always seems to go down well in my training, so I hope you'll enjoy it too. In this workbook, I have two worksheets and I want to view them side by side. So the first step is to open up a separate window. So if I click my view, tab on the ribbon, and new window, I now have another window of the same workbook. We can see it's the same workbook because up in the title bar, there is a number two next to the name of the file. And if I click on my view tab and switch windows, you can see that it's the same file name, just two windows are open. Now let me zoom in on the Manchester sheet for this second window here. And we'll look at viewing these side by side. One sheet called London in one window, one sheet called Manchester in the other window. To do this, I will click on the view side by side button on the view tab. And as easy as that, they are shown side by side. Now currently, synchronous scrolling is switched on. So if I was to scroll down this London sheet on the left, I can see it actually scrolls the worksheet on the right as well, at the same time staying in sync. Now if I did not want that behaviour, I simply click the synchronous scrolling button to switch that off. And now when I scroll down this sheet on the left, the one on the right stays as it is. Equally, if I come back to switch it back on, I'm back to that synchronous scrolling. Now, as I say, this is the same workbook just shown in two windows. So if I was to type something into cell D2 here, I just type Excel into that sheet, and then I come back over to the window on the right and switch to the London sheet. Indeed, there is Excel written in cell D2. So it really is that same workbook. Let me switch back to Manchester on the right. And if I want to turn off the side-by-side -side view, I just click the button and we're back to as we were. If I click the switch windows button, you can see that we do still have both of these windows open. So let me switch to view side-by-side -side again. Now, maybe when you click view side by side, it may not show them vertically side by side like mine is. Or even if it does, maybe that's not what you want. Now, there is another button at the top called Arrange All. And if I click that button, it provides a few options as to how to arrange these windows. I can see mine is set as vertical. But if I choose horizontal and click OK, they will now be shown in this horizontal manner. And I can see the option for synchronous scrolling is still on. So if I was to scroll in one, it scrolls the other. And if I'm making the edits, it is replicated in the other. To switch that off, I click a few side by side and we're back to normal again. Now bear in mind by changing that to horizontal, it's going to do that now whenever I click view side by side. So if I do that again, we're back to that horizontal. If I want to switch it back to the vertical, my preferred way of viewing these when comparing, I click arrange all, back to vertical, and back we go. And then I'll turn it off again by clicking view side by side. Okay, for a final demonstration, if I click on my switch windows button again, I now have two workbooks open, three windows, two workbooks. And maybe I want to compare the two sheets from the multiple worksheets workbook, and I'm not interested in orders list at the moment. I just don't want it included in the arrangement. So if I click on Arrange All, in addition to the different arrangements, there is an option where I can check windows of the active workbook. So if I check that box and click OK, it only arranges these two sheets 
the London Manchester sheets of this workbook, the active one, and completely ignores that other workbook I had open. So that's a pretty cool setting. And then I can bring them back to as they were just by maximizing these two windows. Now we can actually do that same task by using the view side by side button as well. Because if I did click on the view side by side, I get this helpful window appear prompting me which other window to use. So even though I have the other workbook open, I can gleefully ignore it and just make sure I have the second window here. Click OK and I'm back to only focusing on those two. Click view side by side to turn it off. And if I'm finished with all of this, just simply close down one of the windows. And when I do so, looking into the title bar, you can see that it no longer says multiple worksheets one or multiple worksheets two. It's just back to having that one and only window for that workbook. So that is a fairly detailed look at comparing two Excel sheets of the same workbook side by side and some of the various settings in play when you're doing such things. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please subscribe to be notified about any fresh Excel content at this channel. Look after yourself. I'll see you again soon.